everybody and welcome back to another reading update. I'm really excited this week. I've got a couple different books that I finished up, several I'm reading, and then one that I bought and I'm really excited to talk about all of them because they're all great. There hasn't really been anything that I finished or am reading that I've just liked the last two weeks. It's been a great couple weeks of reading and I'm excited to share with you all. Uh, so we can dive right in. Uh, the first thing I finished was The Liar's Dictionary by Ellie Williams. This book was really fun. I think I said in the last video that I talked about it that it's kind of a love letter to language because it's about a dictionary. I loved Ellie Williams' writing style. It's just so full of so much wordplay and you can just tell how much time she spent making this book reflect its subject matter. Like I said, a dictionary. And it was just overall a really enjoyable experience. The, the story and the plot, however, were kind of quiet, which wasn't a bad thing. I, I sometimes like books that are really just about normal everyday life, which is kind of what this is. There are some kind of like wild happenings in the plot, like things that wouldn't just like happen in everyday life. But for the most part, it's not, you know, super action packed. It's not very like overly dramatic. It's just fun. There's really not much else to say about it. I, I, I enjoyed it. It's definitely worth reading, especially for people who love words because you get these paragraphs where she just lists different synonyms for whatever subject she's talking about. And it's sounds quirky and it is quirky, but overall I just really enjoyed it. So anyway, that's The Liar's Dictionary by Ellie Williams and I give it probably four out of five stars. Next one I am so happy that I finally get to talk about. I actually finished it a couple weeks ago, but it is our February Danny Roll book club pick, so I've been keeping it kind of a secret. It is Pride by Evie Zaboy. It is a Pride and Prejudice retelling set in Bushwick, New York, featuring an entirely POC cast. It is perfect for Valentine's Day. It is actually honestly perfect for any time of the year, but especially for Valentine's Day. And I will say that we planned that, though we didn't. Our Elizabeth, or in this case, Zuri, is a junior in high school. So she is planning for college and the Darcy's move in next door. Um, it's specifically Darius Darcy, who is our Mr. Darcy in this retelling. And as you all probably know from Pride and Prejudice, they don't really get along to begin with, um, but they start this sort of like blooming first love, first crush relationship that's really fun to watch. It also talks about some really important topics such as gentrification, distribution of wealth, community development, all of those subtleties and nuances that you see in Austin's work around class and wealth. You also get in Zaboy's retelling, but more geared towards a modern day audience. I really enjoyed it. It's just a heartwarming, quick read, and I'm so glad that we chose this as our February pick. We just recorded our podcast discussion about it the other night and we almost talked for like two full hours. So there's obviously a lot that I have to say about that. And when that episode airs, I will make sure to post the link so that you all can listen to the full review. So yeah, if you want to join us in February, we still have boxes available and we'd love to have you to read this really charming YA romance novel. Um, so once again, that is Pride, a Pride and Prejudice remix by E.B. Zavoy. Okay, now into what I'm reading. I am about 300 pages through A Winter's Promise, which is the first book in the Mirror Visitor series by Christelle DeBeau. It is a French fantasy series. It is set in a post-apocalyptic world where all of these different families have branched out to form these different civilizations, basically. And each civilization has different powers and different laws and different rules. And our main character, Ophelia, is from Anima. So she can tell an object's history through touching it. She can also travel through mirrors, which is super cool. She's promised in marriage to a man whom she's never met from a very distant family located in basically the polar regions of some sort. So she is swept away from her home to this very brutal, 
very dangerous city and she realizes when she gets there that there's more than just a alliance between these two families that's at stake that there's some sort of political game that she is involved in and she is trying to figure out how and why and what's going on um it is a romance I think at some point it's the world's slowest burn like I said I'm 300 pages in and like they, they barely talk to each other still so it's not really an enemies to lovers uh just because they're very indifferent about one another but I think in the second or maybe third book they're supposed it's supposed to get more romance heavy right now it's just world building and political games which has been really exciting and i'm enjoying it although i'm reading it really slowly but it is pretty long so i'm not judging myself on that um i will hopefully have it finished the next time i film a video so anyway that is a winter's promise by christelle Dabo. All right, next thing i'm reading which is also something i bought this week is i started piranesi by susanna clark i this one came out last year and really just didn't pique my interest. I decided to pick it up because as you all know, I own a small business. It's one of the books that we sell. I've always wanted to read Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, but I have always been intimidated by the link. I tried, I bought it on audiobook and then just never listened to it because it's like 40 hours long uh, and I get intimidated by long things. So, to be able to talk to our customers about it, which I wasn't really able to do, I decided to, to give it a shot. I don't know why, I guess the cover and the name, I thought that it was about the fawn. I didn't realize that it was about human. So that was the first thing that kind of took me to, uh, by surprise. I'm only 35 pages into it, so I'm still in the beginning of the, like, I have no idea what's going on, which is kind of what I've heard from reviews is that it does eventually explain things but for the first half or so you're just trying to kind of trying to figure things out um i also didn't realize that it was written in like diary entries it's been a long time since i've read a book that is written in that style right now i'm enjoying it i love susanna clark's writing styles so that's been a nice surprise um but yeah i don't know how i'm going to feel about this one when i finish it so stay tuned but anyway that's piranesi by susanna clark Okay, and then lastly, what I bought. So my friend book club, just we voted to read Black Buck this month, I guess. It's our February, sometimes we go over, so February, March-ish book pick. Um, I'm really excited about this. It was not my month to choose the options, but I did vote for Black Buck, so I was really excited when a majority of other people also voted for this novel because I love books about capitalism. I love anti-capitalist books. I love books about work. And this is about all of those things. It's about Darren, who is a young black man who is hired at, as a salesman at this like ruthless company in New York. And he realizes when he gets there that he is the only black person at this company. So he kind of adopts this other persona but things started to go wrong in his personal life. He starts, he like apparently hatches this plan to help other people of color infiltrate their way into the American workforce. Um, it's supposed to be like a pretty funny dark comedy, which I love dark humor. So I'm really excited to start this one. I haven't started it yet. Um, like I said, our book clubs could sometimes extend outside of the month. So I usually read them the week week and a half before our meeting just so that they're fresh on my mind. So not sure when I will start this one, but obviously very excited. Once again, that is Black Buck by Mateo Ascaripor. That's it for this week. Um, pretty quick reading update, but thanks so much for watching. I'll be back later this week with another video. In the meantime, comment and let me know what you just finished, what you're reading or what you just bought. Um, and of course, like, subscribe to the channel and follow me on Instagram at not so well read. See y'all later. Bye.